Hi, so I'm just going to deal with uh, what I usually call existing steel or steel by others. Uh, doesn't need to be existing, but that's how I treat it. So you can see these pipes are created. If I click on them, you can see I have them on an existing steel layer, which is the color uh, 8. Also, I do it for the color 253, which are both gray. So you can see you create the pipe first. Then we want to go in here and go to advanced properties. We want to go to behavior and turn off use for numbering, use for lists. So we can use them as structural members and use for collision check. That's fine. So they're both turned off. So now how it works is once you output a drawing, um, these are going to come out the color gray because I have it set that way. So if I go into my plot style, so just type plot, come in here to your plot style. And then if I check the color 8, you can see it uses the object color. So that means it'll come out gray. Most of these other ones are coming out as black. So that on the drawing, they'll come out as black. Some of them I have set differently. Also, you'll see 253 is also set to come out the object color. So on the drawing, these will come out gray instead of coming out black, and it'll be a lighter color. Then what you also need, I don't want to save that, so I cancel. What you want to do then also is the model role for these. I have created a model we'll call existing. So in your drawing style, you're going to create a new beam using the model role existing. And then you can have it come in with the label existing steel by others or pipes by others, whatever you choose to have in there. And that will automatically come in for you. Hope this helps uh, show you how to use advanced steel to your best for steel you're not putting in yourself. So you don't have to worry about being numbered or any of that. It'll come out in the drawings the way you want it. All right. Take care.